welcome back to another video in today's video I want to show you how you can play our license plates and a few faces too so here in Adobe Premiere Pro I have two clips here and I want to show you how you can blur some faces and blur the license plates too so let's look at this first shot you have a license plate in the shot and you just want to take that out the first thing you want to do is go over to the fx controls then you want to look for this pen tool it's most likely on the opacity so make sure that tab is open so once you have that clicked you want to go and zoom into the license plate or face same technique and then you just want to draw whatever shape that you're trying to blur out you just want to draw that exact same shape with the pen tool all right so once that's done you should have something like this now what we want to do next is track this more than likely if you're tracking a license plate um, the car is going to be moving if not still follow this step um, it's going to help just in case you know so you want to track the license plate by hitting this play button All right, so once that's done, you shall have a completely masked out license plate and the track will follow exactly where it's, where it's at. So now we wanna just fix the mask a little bit. Um, you can go down to feather and control exactly how, how much you want the mask to be pronounced. If you wanted something more, you know, faded around the edges or something more crisp for a license plate you can usually blur the edges a bit just so it doesn't look like a little blurred box on top of the license plate so I usually blur let's say about 10 cool so now that that's done you want to go down to the effects tab down below and you want to type in blur so Gaussian Blur is what we're looking for. We want to just drag it on top of the clip. And now next we want to blur the license plate. Um, around 10 is okay. You can go a little more. I'm going to stick to 10. You want to hit repeat edge pixels. Gotta make sure everything is nice and consistent. Now, good. So, to have this on top of your clip itself, you want to copy copy this same clip. So, by doing that, you just hold Alt and you want to drag this clip above the clip that you're copying, just like that. So now you can go to the bottom layer or the bottom clip, and you want to just turn off the Gaussian blur and the opacity and now let's look at this clip let me pull this out so as you can see it's completely blurred out we can turn up the blur if you want it more exaggerated um, you just need it enough where it's not legible so if this video was helpful to you be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more